I'm Cappy. I'm Cal Cappy. I'm back. Yeah, let's, let's finish up. So we were talking about the dopamine. So yeah, so we need to fast on these things. No internet, TV, phone, gambling, drinking, smoking, sexing, people, loud noises, wrong foods, radio, music, and just learn how to chill. You know, we we killing that dopamine. We lost our pleasure, motivation, empathy, goals, focus, heavy metal. We we'll focus on their agenda, not ours. That's why the culture records are so important. You know, meditating on that, being quiet, still. People don't care about each other no more. Look on the internet. People getting beat up, almost raped, shot, all kind of stuff, robbing, killing, and they bragging on that stuff. We just lost. You know, so boosting naturally by getting enough sleep, probiotics. I'm finna read about probiotics. Mucosina. Peruna, M-U-C-U-N-A, P-R-U-R-I-N-S, is a type of bean that grows that's for the brain, produces dopamine. No, nothing about that. It came in a powder form. I'm going to look for that, y'all. It helps Parkinson's disease. Ginkgo biloba helps it also. Mental performance, brain mood, um, function, cur curriculum, oregano oil, magnesium, Green tea, vitamin D, fish oil, uh, caffeine, G-I-N-G-E-N-G. -E -E that helps also. Okay. Yeah. So, let me see about probiotics. Uh, I want to talk about... Let me do probiotics first. Uh, probiotics are... I want to know about that myself. It's a bacteria, good bacteria that goes to work for your digestive system support, immune system, bowel support. And maintains intestinal health. Help uh, loosens minor abnormal discomfort and occasional bloating. Help prevent occasional diarrhea. Meaning of live microorganisms, live microorganisms, which when administered in adequate amounts, uh, confer a healthy benefit on the host provide numerous health benefits foods found yogurt kefir uh, recommend ferment, fermented milk drink with sour taste yeast and bacteria so um, you know you find out your own stuff besides the milk kefir formatted food with a constant I think that's a plant too consistent to yogurt made from dairy milk and non-dairy also boosts your immune system aids in ingestive problems and proves improves bone health and may even combat cancer y'all forgive me <laughs> i'm trying help support your microbiome collective uh gmos of microbes composed of bacteria bacteria and fungi and uh, for viruses that live inside it on the human body we have 10 times as many microbial cells as human cells disease diabetes rheumatoid arthritis um, microbial muscular dystrophy multi-cirrhosis and fib Fibromyalgia are associated with dysfunction in the microbiome. Uh, this is essential for human development, in immunity, nutrition. They are no bad invaders. Bacteria. A live bacteria, yeast that are good for you. Helps keeping your gout healthy. Balance your good and bad bacteria. Lactobacillus helps people who can digest glucose and sugar in milk. So if I'm saying that wrong, y'all can look all that up. That's why I wrote it so y'all can see it for yourself. Um, Bifidobacteria can help ease the symptoms of irritable bowel syndrome, IBS, and other conditions. That's sec that's a probiotic word. Yeast help fight diarrhea and other digestive problems. Okay. 
what to do what do uh -uh. Uh, it helps uh, get rid of parasites, uh, help with diarrhea caused by antibiotics, other things it helps with skin conditions like eczema, urinary and vagina, um, odor, uh, uh, help, to help to be a healthy uh, vagina odor, preventing allergies and colds, oral health, so it can say ask doctor first, okay, yeah, ask doctor first. Or a herbal doctor, you know, I have to go to them. As for side effects, could be too much or whatever. Upset stomach, diarrhea, gas, bloating, first couple of days, allergic reaction. Stop taking. Ask doctor or, or herbal doctor. Probiotics fights bad bacteria. Uh, when have too much. No two persons have the same microbial cells. Okay, twins also. Okay, in order for microbio to be called probiotics, it must have several characteristics. Being able to be isolated from a human survival in your intestines after ingestion, being eaten, have a proven benefit to you, be safe, consume. They live mostly in your large intestines, your gut. You have several locations in your body that host good micro these are in connection with the outside world and include gut mouth vagina urine urinary tract skin and lungs i forgot i didn't erase that other tape so the other one i want to talk about was zinc how important zinc is to take out the take out our nutrients out for acne uh exam eczema wait a minute let me put these. Did I put these in order? Yeah. Okay, let me keep reading. Eczema, uh, psoriasis causes high emotional stress. Your body uses up too much of your zinc to heal and repair. Uh, the body uh, to repair the brain, to repair the skin, to repair your zinc is even critical for protein synthesis and utilization in your body. Okay. I'm trying to see if there's two. Zinc. Uh oh, I need to turn the light on. Yeah. No, this purple. Zinc uh, salt foods, pl uh, pumpkin seeds, oysters, grass fed beef, sprouted nuts, seeds, chick seeds, uh, flavor. What's that? Flexi seeds, almonds, peas, probiotics, kefir. Uh, sauerkraut, 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 increased absorption and ingestion of zinc. Uh, reasons, loss of in family, the reason why we lose our zinc, loss in family, stress, job, worry, not enough sleep, over-exercising, uh, trit, triplets, marathon runners, cross athletes, pregnancy, or breastfeeding. Aging women and men may not absorb zinc good. So you have to be careful, y'all. Zinc deficiency. you sick a lot, chronic allergies, leaky gut, food allergies, thyroid, adrenal fatigue, not absorbing food well, diarrhea, loss of stools, irregular bowel syndrome, syndrome gas, bloating, thinning, hair, inflammation, inflammation, inflammatory skin issues so all this stuff can help y'all happen y'all by not enough zinc in our body did anybody tell us about that no oh, oh. they didn't tell us about none of that at all y'all and then like i say about your uh blood type that matters so much you know what i'm saying you have to be careful with that because um certain foods you shouldn't eat you know uh Let's read a little bit about the blood type. Blood type A is uh, what I'm saying about the personality type person. So if you're sensitive, cooperative, emotional type person, passionate and clever, uh, uh, patient, loyal, loving, peace, and don't like to get into a fight with anyone, sometimes can, uh, can uh, what is that, be oversensitive. So 
you know, you got to consider how you are. And I, I want to put the foods in it also. And then you got the B blood type. Very creative, quick decision. Makes a uh, decision maker not good in making orders, taking orders. They are very focused to want to be the best in whatever they do. Not good at multitasking throughout thoughtful, empathetic towards others and make uh, good and reliable friends. Face a lot of discrimination because of their negative personality traits such as selfishness, being uncooperative. Sometimes they're loners because of what people think of them. So just some little stuff that can help you find out more about your blood type then you got a b good charming control cool dream chasers caring rational trustworthy adoptable and creative negative comp complicated vulnerable irresistible self-centered forgetful unforgiving and critical okay then you got o's daring outgoing out and go-getters set high standards and do it and do it do achieve it excellent leadership qualities little things do not bother them what makes them appear selfish to other people especially to a types generous kind hearted loving adoptable well with with changes uh, can do great in tough situations than others blood types other blood types positive leadership easygoing Positive, outgoing, confident, calm, cautious, loyal, peaceful, passionate, independent, reliable, careful, trendsetters, and devoted. Japanese call them the warriors because of strong and enduring honesty and hate lies. Okay. So, it's just a little thing I just want to throw in there, y'all. Uh, you can check on the negative, jealousy, rude, rudeless. Ruthless, rude, non-functional, -punct intensive, cold, unpredictable, self-centered, arrogant. You know, we all got our issues, right? <laughs> so, yeah, I just wanted to show y'all a little about that to, to get off into your your blood types and find more about yourself and uh, help us grow and ascend to the next level in life. You know what I'm saying? Because uh, we ain't trying to be stuck no more, you know? It's time I fall all that, trying to dominate people, control people, all that kind of stuff. That's I. Right. You want to be left behind or, or end up somewhere. You don't want to be. We need to function on what we came here for, what we need to do, what we need to do after we leave. Excuse me. After we leave here, what's our journey? You know, teaching others, doing our path, doing our, what we came here to do, and then moving on. All right, y'all. Thanks a lot. Thanks for listening, Cappy. All right, y'all take care. I love y'all. Would you like, subscribe, share, and comment? I really appreciate it. All right, bye.